What's up guys, Trevor here. With the current pandemic, a lot of people have been asking me things they can do to get their stream started. Other athletes like me, you know, anybody who is now stuck in their house, I wanted to give you a quick overview of everything that you'll need from internet to software to actual hardware, things that you'll need to get started. And I'll try to start with the most affordable things and then go all the way up. If you check the description below, there'll be a list of all of the items as I can find them on the respective websites or Amazon or whatever. So first, before we start, um, you need to decide whether or not you want to stream directly off a console or if you want to stream straight off a PC. I have my laptop with me now. That is what I'm going to be using for reference. But usually I have two large PCs that, that work together to push out my stream. That is the most more expensive version, obviously. Or if you're going to then capture your console screen and then stream it through a PC. So there's three options to do there. You got to decide which ones you want to do. Obviously, straight off the console is the easiest to do. It's usually the, uh, uh, the lower of the qualities because of the options you have for mic and things that we're going to get into in a second but it is also the easiest to set up and there's a lot of support kind of already built into the ps4 and into the xbox specifically but if you want to play switch games you're going to have to capture it and send it to a pc that's the best way that i found to do it if that is what you want to do if you want to go straight off your console um you just need to make sure you have a headphone headphones with a mic if you can communicate with your uh teammates chat will be able to hear you in terms of referencing your chat because it's important when chat comes up and they're saying things they want you to read it and interact with them easy as having your phone up on your stream or having an ipad which is what i'm using because i don't have a side monitor to have my stream up and then I, I can see my chat there so that's the best way to do it in terms of uh video there is a there are cameras that that are built for Xbox and built for PS4 that you can find. They're also in the link, the links will be down below that plug in and then are, are fully supported by your console so that you can actually get video as well. If you're going to stream off of a PC, make sure that you have the specs to do it. Usually um, i7 processor, Intel processor, and I would recommend a 1060 or, or above. It might actually be better than that in terms of NVIDIA graphics cards as the specs. If you do a quick Google search, best PC for streaming, I'll put a link below as well for that. It really is kind of preference. A lot of those things work in tandem well, but um, if you're gonna go straight off a PC, those are the things to look for. And usually the dollar amount, usually if you're gonna buy a laptop off Amazon, for example, will, will scale up with quality of the hardware in the uh, machine. If you're gonna capture your console screen and put it onto a PC, you need something called a capture card. There is a company called Elgato. Shout out to Elgato. They've I've used, they've given me uh, a lot of product to use, and I stand by it. An HD 60s is an external card. Basically, it goes uh, HDMI from your console goes through the card and then into your monitor or your TV, whatever you're using, and then your PC is able to see it. So once you decide how you want to do a stream, you have to look at your internet speeds because these are important. I've streamed from hotels. I've streamed from all over the place. I've streamed from Florida where the internet is horrible. And then currently I am very blessed to have gigabyte internet. That's one gigabyte upload speed, one gigabyte download speed. Because when you're playing a game, you are communicating with a server. That is download speed. When you are then communicating back, pushing something from your end back to the server, that is upload speed. So they're both important. Upload is fully what you're pushing up for the stream. So you will drop frames, AKA it'll be grainy and it'll lag if your upload speed isn't up to par. The lowest I've ever seen that even possibly works is five. Five upload speed, that is pretty much the minimum for most internet providers, but as we know, they don't always give you the full speed. So I recommend 20 plus upload speed, and you're usually safe for most games and most, most power. And then 30 download speed is the absolute minimum. So I would say 30 and 20 are something to shoot for. You can do using speed test, just type in speed test to, to Google, and it'll, it'll run a test and tell you what yours is. A lot of times upgrading that is only a couple bucks a month for double the speeds for most providers and just a phone call make sure that you're paying attention what your internet is if you buy all this stuff and then you don't have the internet to run it it's not gonna be worth it right so next we come to audio and video audio video is important in streaming as well because it is kind of what captures the attention of fans um, if the video is not good then it turns people off to that but more important than video i highly recommend if you're going to splurge a little bit splurge in the audio side of things and don't worry as much about the camera but here's a few quick options for starting off microphones and starting off cameras that don't involve any other hardware logitech makes a industry standard webcam called the logitech c920 the link is below it is high quality it's nice you can you can run a green screen with it 1080p 60 fps it's it's solid they run about a hundred dollars not bad at all if you decide to go with the logitech 
C920 or any of the variations of that kind of webcam that's just a straight USB plug-in. You can plug those both, I believe, into your PS4 and your Xbox, and it is compatible. There might be uh, external programs or, or things you need to do, but a quick Google search and YouTube can probably help you figure that out as well. In terms of microphones, a great starting microphone is the Audio-Technica 2020. It's a straight USB mic, goes straight into your computer, plug and play, works right away. The equivalent to that is a uh, Blue Snowball, Yeti Snowball mic. It comes with its own little stand, it sits, a lot of them that's kind of got a little dome on it. You might've seen them on other streams, another quality option, but either one of those they run about a hundred dollars, maybe a little bit less now. And they're very, very high quality mics that you will not need to replace for a long time. The upgraded version of the mics, if you want to spend a little bit more money is the AT2035. That is an XLR mic. The 2035 is just the same mic as the 2020, just a little bit better quality. And it, it, it gives you a little more options to use external hardware to improve the sound of it. Step up from that is what I have here. This is the uh, Shure SM7B. A lot of podcasts use this mic it's multi-directional you can talk in a bunch of different ways the condenser mics the 2035 and the 2020 you have to talk directly into the uh, direction in order for it to capture your, your voice well this is a little bit better for capturing room noise and with anything that's an xlr mark you mic you will need to get a stand this is just a common amazon stand type in mic boom arm mic stand on amazon there's hundreds of them that sits on your table if you have a thin desk i would highly recommend you get a clampable mic arm that is adjustable doesn't take up space on your desk this actually bothers me a little bit my other stand my other mic's coming in the mail but when i'm on the road and i go into hotels this is the standard i use it's got a heavy base it's solid it's you ain't gonna break it. In terms of next level cameras, I would recommend, if you would like to go the DSLR route, I have an, a Sony A6500. The 6400 is, is just as good. It's just not as good for movement and video. I wanted to use this for vlogs. But then if you decide to go with an external digital camera, DSLR, you have to get a capture card. There is a cam link, which is made by Elgato, and then the, there's a equivalent from Avermedia. They also make a, uh, which I use to capture uh, my camera as well. It's uh, specifically for cameras. The links will be below. It's a little bit cheaper, but they also run up to about a hundred bucks. So if you want to do this, you're going to be spending the money on the camera and on the capture card. So keep that in mind. If you have an XLR microphone, meaning this attachment right here doesn't go directly into your computer via USB, you have to have some sort of external mixer or preamp, or if you hear those words a lot, something external that has to then record the signal and then send it to your computer through USB. So. I have what we call, this is a Go XLR. These came out two years ago. There's a sampler on here. There's, this does all kinds of stuff. It's a voice changer. It's got four channels for my music, all my sound. It lets you map it all digitally. It's got a built-in sound card. It's its own sound card outside of the PC. So if you have a mic like this, you need something like that. You don't need a Go XLR. A quick search online of streaming mixer or streaming preamp or whatever you have it. Or a lot of times it's linked with the actual mic. So if you go on Amazon, you're going to buy this mic. It'll give you options for a mixer that will go along with it and all of them do different things but i use the go xlr standby i love it really heavy duty plastic it's held up really well it travels all the time i love it that's a little bit of the higher price point again i would i recommend it i stand by it now peripherals okay when i say peripherals i mean mouse keyboard mouse pad and any little extra things that you don't absolutely need to stream you could just play offline what this is all preference but my recommendations the things i use the logitech pro wireless mouse boards never in my in my way and it's a very light it's a high quality fps mouse and i'm not a professional player so i'm not so worried about input lag so this is a good quality mouse these run about a hundred dollars pretty much everything across the board runs about a hundred dollars um next we have the uh, logitech pro keyboard it's not super clicky and then obviously keyboard boards are completely preference these just kind of go in a set there's there's certain tiers and price points that kind of run pretty standard across the board so in terms of the money you're going to be spending you're not going to be spending astronomical money depending on what brand you use mice is always like how big is your hand and all that kind of stuff so i would i would recommend google, again going in google doing the research people are doing ranking lists and all this stuff for which ones you should buy as for headphones i use sennheiser hd 660 s's these are open back you can hear basically people talking to you you don't have to pull your headphones off as much and they vent a little bit better so they don't get as warm sennheiser makes phenomenal stuff the hd 660 s's are a little bit pricier they are for producing music and things of that nature again personal preference but i stand by sennheiser uh, 650s were what i used before um, and then again they have a range all the way down to about 40 bucks all the way up to you know ten thousand dollars so if, if audio is something that's really important to you hearing footsteps that that nature there's tons of options um, companies include 
Logitech Razer, Astro makes good stuff, and then you can get into the Audio Tech that makes their own great headphones, the same as the mics. Like a lot of a lot of those audio companies make very good headphones too. So again, personal preference. And then things that I have for my stream that you don't necessarily need, but they do help. This is an Elgato Stream Deck. It allows me to control my program, basically switching scenes, switching all kinds of stuff. So if you see the bottom of the screen here is my overlay for my uh, stream, which I actually didn't mean to leave it on there, but it's fine. So I can always just switch to full screen here that gets rid of it. I'm doing this with my Elgato uh, Stream Deck. Again, high quality Elgato makes really, really good peripherals for streams. This is if you're using PC, obviously. If you're not gonna use the PC, you don't need the you don't need these peripherals. If you're gonna use the PC to capture, either capture a console or run directly off your PC, it's important that you use a program called OBS, okay? So OBS comes in two, it is free, first of all. Free top to bottom, and OBS comes in two different versions. Streamlabs OBS, OBS Studio. Actually, there's three different versions, and OBS Basic, I believe. But I use OBS Studio. Basically allows you to set up scenes. You can drag and drop uh, how big you want your camera. You can put your overlays in. All that kind of stuff is another video setting up your stream that I will do in the future. I think I'm gonna do very soon. OBS is the program you will need. In terms of setting it up, tons of tutorial videos. I would highly recommend you check those out. But just know that you can download OBS onto your PC and that will give you all the tools you need. In addition to all the hardware I just talked about, um, to get your stream going. We covered everything you might need. I will go over setup. I have both my PCs arriving in the next day or two. So I'll actually do a video as I'm setting it up on what goes where to, to maximize the highest quality PC setup you can have. And I'll discuss a lot of that stuff. If I missed anything, if you want any recommendations on any other pieces of equipment or uh, anything else you might need or that I didn't cover, please leave it in the comments below. I will I will talk to you there. I'm gonna be extremely, extremely act active in these comments. Just know that I, I'm here for you guys. We're all we're all in this together. And if you wanna get into stream and you wanna do something that you, you wouldn't be able to do if you had, if you were out and about and doing your normal life, you know, more power to you. I hope you, I can help. You have a great day guys and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.